Hello everyone, that's me, Ahmed Mukhtar, and today I will explain to you how to use the module GitLab Pipeline Trigger. As many of you already know, GitLab has already cool features for CI CD, and a lot of companies already use it, and individuals and etc. They use it for CI CD operations. And today I will present a module which I built for Udo makes it really easy to trigger pipelines in GitLab by a single click. So this module will automatically will automatically also install the project module. But before that, you need to install this library, Python GitLab, in your Udo server before installing this module. So let's install it. Good. Now it is installed. And there is an added menu here called GitLab. You can navigate and create the pipe the custom pipeline you like. Let's say custom pipeline trigger. And there is an option here to choose a project in Udo. This is because a lot of companies manage their projects from Udo and they use the project module to manage their own projects. So you can link your custom pipeline runner or trigger to a specific project, but it is not mandatory. And here you must add the project namespace and the branch. So what is the project namespace? Simply, the project namespace is just like this. You copy the group or the user and the repository name and add it here. And you must also choose the branch you are working on. In this case, it's main. We'll just write main. So there is an important point here. There must be a, a configuration uh, or let's say there, there should be a configuration done before running the pipeline trigger or the runner. In the settings, scrolling down into the integration section, this GitLab integration must be enabled. Otherwise, if you run the custom pipeline trigger or runner, you will get this exception. So first we need to add a GitLab private token and a GitLab URL. So let's say you wrote a wrong GitLab token and later I will show you what is a, Git, a GitLab private token and use the, the GitLab server. In this case, you can use the GitLab.com uh, or you can use your own GitLab server. Both works. And save. Let's test. So it shows you that either the token or sorry, either the token or the URL are wrong in this case. So you need to add the correct token and the correct URL. So what is a what is a GitLab private token? So in your GitLab account, you go to preferences. And here you will find in the menu access tokens and you should create a new one. Let's say Udo GitLab and you need to select the scope, one or more scopes and create one. Now it has generated a personal access token for you. And this enables the usage of GitLab API. So we will simply copy this here 
and paste it here and save. In this repository, we have a sample GitLab CI uh, uh, file which will uh, run a pipeline and a job. Let's test that out. You simply click run pipeline. And in this smart button, you can uh, access the uh, created and executed pipelines. And inside each pipeline, the related jobs. You can also access the related jobs. In this case, we want to access the running job created by the pipeline. and the job has been created and finished as well so a lot of you might wonder okay why would i use a module like this let's take a look at this diagram there are uh, several usages for let's say uh, ci cd operations like testing deployment and also the um, just deployment on production which is one of the most important parts so this module enables the uh, the ability to uh, run even custom jobs if the job is written in the yaml file correctly you can for example uh, specify specific variables to run certain jobs including deployment for example or testing this is one of the usages of uh, gitlab ci cd and it's really a cool feature it's built in and you don't need to install a lot of plugins to make this working also if you take a look here you can also see that it makes several things inside the ci pipeline only if you create it in the right way but here the, the the cool thing in this module it you can create as many custom pipeline triggers or runners as you like. That makes it really cool in this case. And you can even create a deployment according to your uh, configuration or the written YAML files in your GitLab server. Also, if you choose a project and navigate to projects, you can also see the related uh, GitLab runners or pipelines. If you go here, you'll find deployment. Another cool feature here, you can add variables. So let's say a simple variable with a value Let's say this is a simple variable and save. So basically or briefly variables can be used inside the container of the job as environment variable. So we want to see how this works. So I will simply just echo or print the value of this key we have here I will simply copy it and paste it here and let's commit yeah let's make it simple and run
yeah it actually printed the correct value for the environment variable we have created for this uh, job inside the container and the job is done so that's it and thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and you can also uh, if you like to you can simply contribute if you have an issue please create it here or if you have a suggestion please also create it here in this uh, in the module and see you in the next time